Hey there, and welcome back to AJM Learn. Today is an exciting day because this is the first installment of a new category in Learn. So we've in the past focused on CSS hacks for Squarespace, and now we're starting to expand into other Squarespace tips and um, different categories to help you guys out a little bit more. So make sure to check that out. We're going to keep launching um, at least one post a week. So first one here with Squarespace tips, uh, I see a lot of questions about, you know, duplicating pages using the duplication feature. So I want to dive more into that for you guys. Um, first one, and this one's pretty straightforward, this has been a feature for a long time, is duplicating a page. So just to show you how to do it in case this is new to you. Um, you click the gear here, scroll down, click duplicate page, confirm. So you would name your new page, you know, move it to wherever you want. Um, one thing to note when you're duplicating a page is I always like to go into it, you know, make sure the URL slug is what you want. Um, definitely make sure that you change your SEO. So when you duplicate it, this is going to duplicate your SEO title and description if you have one. So be sure you're updating that so that you're not having two pages with the same SEO title and description. Um, outside of that, you've duplicated your page and it looks the exact same as the other one. So duplication works pretty well on Squarespace, which is great. Um, I put this in the post, but quick insight on how I like to do this. I personally build all of my home pages completely custom. Um, and then I, from there, that kind of establishes, you know, our, our visual branding. And then I figure out what is the most complex of all the inside pages for this particular client. A lot of the times it's a services page. So I start by building out after the home page. I build out that services page. Um, and once I'm done building that out, you have your hero style, your CTA style, your photo and text style, your drop down style, your just style for everything. So why not use that? So what I tend to do is I build that as almost a template and then start duplicating the pages and using them from there. So pretend I've built out this whole wonderful page. I just duplicated as I just showed you. And maybe this becomes my about page. I move things around as I see fit, but I'm not having to fully rebuild and like double check. Oh wait, how did I style this page? Was I doing full bleed images? Was I not? You just already have that style established and you can move it around and customize from there. Okay, so next, I want to dive into duplicating sections. This has also, of course, been a feature for a while, but I feel like it's underutilized because it can really make your page feel redundant if you don't do it correctly. So one of the ways, the example I put in the post, and one of the ways I use this the most is with these text and photo sections. This is, of course, like a cornerstone of design as we have tons of these sections, whether it's a graphic illustration, whatever, but where we have like photo text, illustration text, that kind of thing. Um, so we do, I do a lot of duplicating of these sections. So if this is a long page where I'm going to have multiple sections like this, you can simply duplicate it, of course, but then even if I move it down below this section, it just looks duplicated, right? So quick and easy way to make this a little more custom, simply change the side that everything is on. So I will flip my text to this side, my photo to this side. Okay, done. It already looks different. Um, and from there, choose a different color. Bam. Okay, these look like different. Obviously, the photo would be different. All of a sudden, these start to look like different sections. It doesn't feel redundant, but it took less than a minute. So I'm not having to fully rebuild, re can't talk, rebuild out these sections every single time. It takes me less than a minute to just have this totally new section. I can drop my text in. Such a time saver. Cool. Okay. Last thing and new feature is, of course, the block duplication. Uh, like I said in my post, praise the Fluid Engine gods for this one. We all have our beef with Fluid Engine, but this one's certainly a win. Um, one thing that people don't realize is you can duplicate sections of blocks at one time. So I'll show you that. Real quick, um, you can simply duplicate a block here. It has the same icon that duplicating um, a section or anything else does. Um, so I could simply duplicate this photo if I wanted really no point because there's not really any styling there, but I could if I wanted to, you know, make sure everything's the same size, can easily duplicate. The way I use this the most is, you know, you can spend a lot of time, like I've, I've made this photo a certain size and shape. Um, oh, I want this text like centered vertically. Here's how I want to style my button, you know, say I changed it to secondary and then I um, decided I wanted it to be fit, you know, all these things that take time to set. And then I put it on top of this photo 
And of course I'd want to center it. So I'm like, okay, let's, you know, so it takes some time. I have this style and beforehand, my only option is to just sit here and rebuild this out however many times I want to duplicate it. But now you can actually highlight all of this, click duplicate, bam. That's like the most life-changing thing for me. So yeah, you can highlight anything on the page in sections and duplicate the whole thing. So you're not sitting here building out this layered set of blocks over and over and over. Um, yeah, so duplicating a block is huge, but duplicating sets of blocks, life-changing. Um, awesome. Okay, I hope this really helped you guys. This really makes building a site way more efficient and excited for you to put it to use.